Tell me why, when the village was in danger, his sister was in danger, instead of helping everybody from the tree monster, the stuff that he's talking about, how he wants to protect everybody from, instead of going after that, he went after Boruto. Are we serious? Yo, Kawaki, you are a fraud. You are a bad brother. You are... There, there's so many words I can kind of go down to it, but Kawaki, you're on Fraud Watch as of right now. Big fraud. Watch. Listen up. This man was built up to be a top tier rival, the antithesis to Borto, our main character. Shout out Borto. He's been moving me since the time skip, not gonna lie. Ever since the time skip, Kawaki became a total and utter joke ain't no way borto gapped you that much in that time skip like what were you doing yo in the recent chapter of borto borto was like yo did you train imagine someone asking you if you trained when they pulled up he beat his ass so bad he asked if you trained this is Kawaki. He's supposed to be the guy that's that's rivaling borto he's supposed to be this big bad scary rival of borto that entire time you didn't train and not only is he a fraud because he doesn't train and now he's weak compared to borto but also tell me why this man whose whole reason why he's going after borto in the first place is because he hates the otosuki and he wants to protect everybody you know he wants to protect everybody from the otosuki that's why he's after borto not because of borto but because of momoshiki in him he's afraid of momoshiki coming out tell me why when the village was in danger his sister was in danger instead of helping everybody from the tree monster the stuff that he's talking about how he wants to protect everybody from instead of going after that he went after a borto are we serious yo kawaki you are a fraud you are a bad brother you are there there's so many words i can kind of go down to it but kawaki you're on fraud watch as of right now big fraud watch yeah as a naruto and unfortunately baruto ish fan um it doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense for his character too because the main thing about kawaki is that like his his undeniable is like unwavering love for naruto and everything that naruto represents so yeah baruto was the exception to that because of momoshiki but his sister should be like the number one thing that he wants to protect currently besides naruto and hanada so the fact that like he's just like, oh screw her, I'm gonna go after Baruto, was was whack. But at the same time, the yeah the gap also doesn't make sense. I'm not saying he's not gonna eventually get a power up or whatever like that. That has to happen, I guess. But uh, we see in the very beginning, like the very first pages of the very first seconds of watching Baruto or reading Baruto, how they're facing off and they're going at each other. So you're thinking like. Oh, Kawaki, and throughout the whole Baruto series, like Kawaki's doing pretty well against everybody, except for like a few key instances. And like you see that he has Ashiki's powers and yada yada yada, but like you said, he just got complacent, and it's just it's really kind of whack. Like it's one thing if like Baruto beats him, but the fact that it's like even Delta's like, yo, why is there such a big gap? Kawaki's like, why is there like everyone's just like. Why is this guy so weak compared to everybody else? But at the same time, we also saw that uh who's Orochimaru's kid? Uh Mits uh Mitsuki. 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 Yeah, yeah. Mitsuki. Mitsuki's stronger than Kawaki too. So it's just like what is I don't, I don't know, it's just unfortunate. But that's not the biggest issue I have with that chapter at all. Let's talk about the elephant in the room or the little fox in the room. What the hell? Kishimoto, I love you. You made me fall in love with anime. Like, Dragon Ball was, like, my gateway, but, like, Naruto is what made me fall in love with the anime world. You've been consistent when it comes to Jinchurikis and the tail beasts and how they work and how they operate, how the tail beasts are, like, nature. Thank you, bad writing. How, how the tail beasts are, like, nature, are, like, bundles of na natural chakra, this and that. We see multiple, we see like three or four Jinchurikis go through processes of getting the tail beasts. We see all these rituals and these different sealing techniques 
and they explain like yo like the reason why these ceiling techniques are needed because if if you just put if you just put a jerky if you just put a tail beast in there that chakra is going to overflow their system and like take them over and they can like explode or get possessed or yada 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 so how in the hell <laughs> how in the hell is himawari just chilling with a new nine tail fox in her that made no sense it, it's not consistent with any of this previous writing that's it's a question. not consistent now i'm not caught on board so i'm gonna ask you i'm just ask questions <laughs> is it just is she is she full on a jinjiriki or does she just got some akrama chakra and that chakra so, just manifested so i'll explain it to you ty so the a village that gets attacked Mm -hmm. And like she closes her eyes for a second, and you know, like how like when Naruto would like go into like his inner world or whatever, or he, when he went to the temple or whatever, like you see like the gate and like the water and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just randomly closed her eyes, and there's like a little nine tail fox, like, "Hey, what's up?" In in her, so it's just like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, are... did, but how to say? Did they explain how it got there, or are they? Are y'all? No, we oh, need the next know, chapter to get more seen, context. Seen on, like, and, and this is why we've seen. That's, on why, my, that's why, like, my reaction is not as visceral because we. Don't yeah, know, I, must, I think we, we should. don't know why. Yeah, because because to me, what it seems like again, I'm not caught up, but it seems like because she's Naruto's child, she was exposed to Naruto's chakra. Now, this could be a little remnants of his chakra. I don't think it's a full. I think I don't think it's a full Karama inside of her. I think no. it's just. The reason why, no, the, the reason why Karama inside her is like a new Karama because it's like, hey, like, who are you? Like, it's also the reason like why I baby. can't say that is because that Karama had sentience and it noticed that the Ten Tails was after him in particular. So, no, no, I'll say the reason why I can't say why, it's just a remnant of hmm? the, the, the reason. Here's, here's why I'm saying I think that might be the case. For example, with when you know when um uh, Kushina and Minato, um, they were able to see Naruto because like you know what I'm saying. I feel like it, it might be situations like that where they're they're obviously dead. But because they left some of their chakra to be inside Naruto to eventually connect with him in the future, that's that's how I envision that. I don't envision as like like for example, Minato and Kushina weren't still alive; they were dead, right? Oh, but I don't think that's what it is because well, I, I, I don't think I, I, here's my thing. I don't think it's like one to one, but I think it's something more along those lines than the last chapters were. The last page of the chapter was "Little Girl, You Know Who I Am," like as in like "Yo, who are you? like they're meeting for the first time." And then she's like, you're the nine tails, right? Like, it's like a baby. If I can show it to the camera. Uh, I've like, seen, I seen a picture. Yeah, I seen yeah. a picture. So it's a baby. It's a baby Karamba. But he said, like, to Naruto, like, before, like, I'm going to die. I'm going to get reincarnated at some point. After Baron Mode, he's like, I'm going to get reincarnated into the world. And no, like, Karamba they, they, never said that in the he never. He never said that. I found the actual panel. It was something yeah. that Kushina said before. Oh, yeah, okay. so yeah, it, was, say, it happened a long time ago, like way before Boruto. My thing is, even though I can't prove this, so Riddell's head cannon, you feel me? My thing is, is I believe this is a retcon. That's what I believe. I feel like when Kishimoto came back, he kind of retconned Bar Baryon mode Kurama dying because he did. Kishimoto wrote in that the reincarnation happened. I wouldn't be surprised if the person who took over for Boruto forgot about it because that happened so long ago. You, I don't know if the sequel writers always read everything and remember everything because it's still it, a lot of He was his lead, he was his lead assistant for Naruto. That's why. He got but you can ago, still forget. Though. It was but years I, I, I don't before know if they, wrote they still, they still have an wrote, editing uh, team. Kurama that, that Yeah, but you can still forget things. Even Oda said he's forgotten things. It was written. Like, you know, I, I, I feel that, but I don't. Because it was only one sentence. It's not a big thing that was consistently mentioned in Naruto. It was one yeah. sentence by Kashina in a backstory of Naruto when he was a baby. I like I like Hydro right before comment. the war arc. It was it wasn't that old, but so it's still the... like years before Baryon mode Porto. I'm Baryon so mode. Here, here's my thing with Hydro's comment because like people were saying like oh she has whiskers. So does Baruto. So does Baruto. <laughs> he has like she has two whiskers. He has like the two. It was like so Baruto has the same markings on his face. So it also so if it was like a reincarnation thing, why would it choose and uh, whiskers don't automatically mean yeah, you're you I, have I, I nine agree. tails People in you because when Naruto like, was oh, like, born, he, has yeah. he had no nine yeah, tails yeah, yeah. in him. So I, I think the, the thing is for this situation is I'm wait I'm waiting for context too. Like I don't like it now, kind of similar to like 
the JJK or My Hero thing. I don't like it now, but I'm going to wait before I have my full opinion after the context comes out. So this is just going to be one of those another situations, but I it's going to be hard-pressed to make this make sense in the sense that how did Kurama end up in Himawari? How did Kurama, oh, who was supposed to be reincarnated in nature, which is what Kishimoto kind of alluded to, not conveniently ended up in the daughter of naruto why didn't my thing is why didn't kurama let if this was pre-planned why didn't kurama let naruto know this or why didn't kurama indicate that i can get reincarnated in that situation because naruto believed he was going to die forever so my big, there's a lot of things my that I, I is how like. is the chakra being regulated well I, I have a question is it is this the same is is this the same kurama like does Kurama like is this? I don't like, know yet. That's why we got because it, it, it could be a thing where he doesn't get reincarnated as himself. Kind of like in in Chainsaw Man, Blood Devil Power is like I'm gonna be I'm gonna come back, but I won't be me. That could be the case. I would feel well, like wouldn't, well, wouldn't that line that you know who I am like until like it's the same? That's no, what no, I, I thought I, too I because he really, seemed like I, he, really I mean I don't know now. either. I'm no, 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 Santo, stay right there because I, I was having this conversation with my friend jo um, John because I got him into reading Naruto and Borto. He's been Naruto fan, and even he doesn't really like what's going on. He needs more answers for this. Kurama saying that, or Kurama saying that you know who I am, that he knew that the Ten Tails was after him, means that he had preconceived knowledge of the Ten Tails' existence and the Ten Tails' intention in this situation. So you would have to say, okay, every time they get reincarnated, they know about the Ten Tails, but why is that? Why would you know other memories back in the day? Which well, memories do you know? Which memories do you not know? Like there's a lot of that you would have to kind of go well, down. Also, you have to remember them. Kurama, Kurama was like low-key a part of their family. Like, remember, like there was there was a scene where like Naruto was sleeping and Kurama was like babysitting. So like he has so he has like a relationship with Baruto and Himawari. Like they know they they're they are aware of him. So then, why would he say you know who you know me? Then because if it's a reincarnation, then it's like a new Kurama. That's, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. If so he, it if has to be Kurama because he knew. But him that's more. not. But that's not my big. My biggest issue is like because we see in early Naruto like how like the chakra was how the chakra leaks affected Naruto and stuff like that, and how like Jiraiya was saying like oh if, if like the the seals breaking like the chakra can overload him he can get possessed yada 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 yada. There's no seal on Himawari, so if. No, if the nine tails is just a bundle of like almost infinite chakra, why why isn't she getting overtaken like how Naruto was in the beginning? Why isn't like there's so many think like there's so many inconsistencies with like Naruto's early story with the nine tails with a seal and her without a seal? I so, do feel like that can be properly addressed in the sense that this Kurama is not evil. Like this Kurama is willing to work with or work with Himawari. I feel like that one could be addressed if this is Kurama specifically. So if this is Kurama specifically, he does he wouldn't need a seal. I would I would imagine because he's part of the family. Yeah, we'll Killer B did have a seal we'll, drink more water. Yeah, we will see. And then it was like the a next, ritual. The part. next chapter is would be pivotal for this whole thing. So I'm, I'm waiting pulling this. Also, let's put let's put this out there as well. I don't even care if Kurama's here, fine. Kurama plus Himawari still not strong enough to deal with these ten tail monsters. No. I don't care what Kurama does for Himawari. There's still a gap between these monsters and everybody in the Naruto verse. She's not even a ninja yet. <laughs> she doesn't right. know. I don't ninja. care what he does. Like it's not. She's not a ninja. Him. She's still a kid. In fact, I don't think she's, also I don't think another she's another yet. criticism I have is that the the ten tails monsters. They made it seem like their goal was to go after very specific people attached to them and their past lives or whatever. The initial monster said that he was after Naruto. So I don't get why he's after Himawari right now. Because he's not after Himawari because it's connected to Naruto. He's after Himawari because of the Ninetales. But the Ninetales is not Naruto. Because every other Tentails monster is after for a specific individual for their bigger plan. But... You said also, you were after Naruto. You kind of, you kind of chatting though. He went to the Nine Tails because he knows that Naruto, the Nine Tails. But now he wants to kill Himawari. Am I wrong? Well, because the Nine Tails is there. So he's, yeah, because the Nine Tails. Oh, oh, okay, 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 let's. All right, let's play this out. Let's play this out. The monster's initial person that he was after was Naruto, correct? Yes. Yes, and he felt the okay. Nine Tails trucker. And then he found Himawari. What did he do next? He's like, well, the Nine Tails is here, so I might as well like eat it or whatever. 
So he went to try to kill Himawari with the Nine Tails, but he's after Naruto, not yeah, the Nine Tails. Why the can't Nine his Tails Why is... can't his goal? Slide? He can still be after Naruto and take advantage of a situation he's currently in. I don't what see why one excludes the other. Everybody else is not after Tail Beast. All the other Tail monsters are after specific humans. The Tail Beast still no derive from the, the, the Tail Beast the still derive from the Ten Tails, so it's not a far stretch to say like, oh, if they absorb. Like how in Naruto Shippuden, if they absorb the Nine Tails, they get stronger. Now you're just making stuff up because the other that's characters. What happened, that's what no, happened no, no, in no, Naruto no, no. Shippuden. No, no, no. Based on what we know now from the Boruto main villains, they're not after anything related to Tail Beast. The Nothing main thing that they're after is self discovery. Now you're making, that? you're adding something that doesn't exist for the current goals. You're adding, oh, I mean, it's the Nine Tails, so he could change his plan. No, that's not what they set up. They set up these guys going after specific individuals connected to the characters' past lives. Correct, but at up. the same time they set that up, they also set up the fact that they they're discovering themselves that their plans have been changing because their plans their their initial plan was just to create the fruit. Then they're like, oh, now we want to you know self discovery. Now we want to learn more about ourselves <laughs> in the world. They've said that in these chapters, so, so they're like they're like new humans trying to just discover e everything. That's what they've stated, but their goals so they're constantly are... evolving and changing. So, why so their plans yeah. evolving and changing at the same time isn't a far stretch? No, I can think I think that's dumb. But with that said, you're saying they could just change their goals. You're saying every single of these tree monsters can just change their they're goals. evolving and learning because they already said our original goal was this, now it's this. Because no, no, nobody said that by one monster, he's just the only one who's changed. Everybody else, but he was the leader, and they all kill. agreed. So if they're all learning and if they're all Nobody learning and evolving, if they, your what did goal, they agree with? Your goal at one at like five years old to be like a firefighter is not the same goal you have at fifteen. It's not the same goal you have at twenty five. If they're if Bro, they're rapidly growing, that's a terrible comparison. These it's are not a terrible comparison. These they, are monsters, they really learned about the world and their goal changed. But they are monsters immediately created with a certain level of sentience and a certain level and their of sentient is they have sentience but not knowledge. Yes. Yeah, exactly. knowledge is helping the them understand gain, the, world. the world. The but their that goal, change. the reason why they were created is connected or their past is connected to who they are now. So the only reason why they're doing what they're doing is because they're looking for someone in particular. All the for knowledge what? helps for knowledge. their growth, but knowledge. their goal yeah. is moving them in a specific direction. So, okay. They can still have their goal and do other things along the way. Wait, is this like so, Riddell? If but so, the main thing is knowledge, and they're going against the people that that's they not changing with. his goal. I can yes, say, yo, I can say, I want to go to the grocery store to go get celery, and on my way there, I get a beef patty. But my goal is still to go get celery from the grocery store. No, the problem with that is this same monster made it very clear they didn't want to kill anybody else but the person that they're looking for. They made it strictly clear. They even told. Team Inishika Cho, I want you guys to leave because I'm after Himawari now. So they, him in particular, had a goal for Naruto. The goal of Naruto, he couldn't find Naruto. So now all of a sudden he changed to the Nine Tails Himawari. That doesn't make sense. Well, here's sounds, another reason it, why it makes it sounds sense. like a side here's quest. Another reason why it makes sense. It, it, it literally sounds like a side quest. So it's a side quest. So <laughs> the Nine Tails has been with Naruto since birth, and if their pursuit is knowledge. Of the person in the past that they're connected to, yeah. If, if I have to settle with the person that's been been with that person since their existence, I'm gonna do it. If that's the main way of finding them is the nine tails, because because at the same time he doesn't know. Yo, if I get the nine tails, maybe the nine tails knows where Nar Naruto is. Like he, he, Naruto is trying the to nine tails has been with Naruto since the very beginning. No, of Naruto. no, no. It's not like he's looking for knowledge from Kurama and Himawari. He's trying to kill Himawari. That's, but that's no, we don't, on. and we that's don't know why right he now. wants to kill her. Exactly. So okay, so we can't make a conclusion on whether it makes sense or not until we know the reason why he's doing Man, it. Fuck Bart. Yes, you can. When you <laughs> have the goal, all the other characters are thinking completely different directions, and then this one villain decides to change it uh, off a whim. Off I'm a just kidding. whim. Riddell, you got it, bro. You got it. All right, bro. I don't like. I don't know. We don't gotta make the excuse for Bart. I'm just saying both right. things can I'm, be true. So on to like the next probably bigger topic. Who's ready to talk about JJK? Who's 